three points to podcast. You wouldn't want my life to get boring. Hello and welcome to 3.2 Company, a podcast about X-Wing, Star Wars, RPGs, drinking beer, and whatever nerd shit that we come up with. Hey everybody, I'm Scott, uh, your host and proud drinker of 3.2 Beer. The, what are you drinking? The only beer that we can get in this state. Um, the only beer that apparently I can get in this state, which is you into Still? life. Still? Wow. Because I bought way Weird. too many of them, Shocking. and I'm not drinking them enough. And, Mike, I really want to try that winter lager, but I have, like, half a dozen of these That's things fair. that I need to drink first. Did you like just, like, afternoon. go buy a pallet of them? No, I bought a 24, a 12-pack, and then just, like, this is the only time Scott. I drink them. I wouldn't even a 12 last a week pack here. too many of them. That lasts, like, a week at my house. <laughs> A week. I was it's waiting like for you to say like a day. A week, my ass. We bought, we bought <laughs> a 12-pack week, week, yesterday, baby. and it's like half gone, all right? <laughs> uh, joining us today, it's um, Stu. Hey, Stu. Hey, it's me, Stu. I'm drinking uh, yet another Red Rock Brewery beer. They're becoming my favorite local brewery. This is their Harvest Ale, Northwest-style pale ale, and it is really, really good. Okay, Awesome. It's that time for, you know, harvest ales and winter lagers and all that. It's time to transition away from these lime pilsners that I keep thinking. <laughs> um, yeah, anyway. Uh, hey, Eric. How are you today? I'm here. Yeah, you are? Yeah. What are you drinking? I'm drinking a Snapdown India Pale Ale. Or Pale, pale Lager. Uh, I got it because there's a dragon on it. Hells, yeah, you did. <laughs> there's no gnomes on it, though. Yeah, it's not. No, what? Game of Gnomes. Game of Gnomes. <laughs> I'm really sad about that. All right. Uh, also with us today, our producer, Jeff James. Hey, I'm drinking a Squatter's Hell's Keep Belgian-style golden ale. That is Ooh, that And I got it. Yeah, it's, I'm cheating. It's 7.3, 7. 7.5. 7.75. Right. Is there a dragon on this one, too? <laughs> the devil. <laughs> you want one it's of these? Oh, oh the that's even better. Yeah. 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 Oh, is Brody going to? Yeah, that's okay. too strong for me. All right. Hey, Brody. But there's a How's devil it on it. They look delicious. Hey, it's me. Uh, <laughs> what are you drinking? I'm drinking what Stu just passed me. Small batch, high quality, Harvest Ale Ooh. from Red Rock Brewery, which is a nice place to go have a lunch. And from the depths of space and time, <laughs> coming to us live via remote, Mike, hey, how are you? That's sort of how I feel based on this sleep deprivation. I'm a... Why don't yeah. you do as always? <laughs> I'm good. I am drinking the Roja Brewing Project Three Deep Amber. Roja. Mm. Again, uh, Roja. And if you're playing our drinking game at home, there's your first shot. Mike's drinking Roja. I drove by a Roja building today on accident when I got lost. On accident. Don't Fun even fact. feel bad. Do we it's have, good. Fair enough. Do we have official rules for the 3.2 drinking game? We should game? actually make them. Yeah, we should write yeah. them up sometime. Um, and then no one should actually follow them because the way we'll write them, you'll die if you drink them. Take a shot every time I blow your eardrums out by laughing at my own joke. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, take a drink every time I say fair Did enough. Did Chad Blaine fuck <laughs> over the party? Shot. Word. Every time I reference a weird YouTube video, take a shot. No, we're dead. Mm. Yeah, I know. Uh, speaking of dead... I don't know where I'm going with this, but we got a new X Wing. A new ship. Woo! That the M one two L Kimohila fighter. For are, you, the, are you saying dead on arrival? For the X Pen fifteen miniatures game. Yes, X Pen fifteen. <laughs> um, I'm saying speaking of dead like your opponents that are caught in the bullseye firing arc. Well Which will never oh, happen. Right. <laughs> Best yeah. Marvel villain ever. That's got the Colin I mean, version. probably do that. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I mean, he's not the worst part of that movie. True. Make a list. <laughs> he's the worst part of every movie. I don't know. Nah, um, there's that one. I, I, he's definitely going to get some sexual harassment shit oh, coming for out. For sure. Yeah. Like, um, hey, sure he already has. But have you seen a giant know. piece of shit? No, just Colin Farrell? Fair enough. <laughs> You only take the drink if I say it, if somebody else says it, unless they're doing a spot-on impression of it. All right, so we got this Chemo Gyla <laughs> Fighter, an M12-L Chemo Gyla Fighter. Yes. Also known as the Chemo Dia. Rest in uh, peace, yeah. Star Wars Galaxies. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, hey, Stu, what is the stat line on this ship? Um, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a second here. 
It is... We are professionals. Like, it's a three attack <laughs> dice, one green defense die, six hull, two shields. So, as per usual with scum, really getting the short end of the stick on that health spread. Yeah. It's going to be a crit magnet. Yeah, especially with the one agility, that's going to be... That's a potential one-turn burn down. Uh, yeah, that's... Um, well, especially when you go up against my um, that three heavy laser cannon gunboat list that I talked about last week. How many of those are double heavy laser cannon, though? <laughs> uh, not enough, apparently. You got to uh, Boba Fett proof your list. Come on. Yeah, yeah. all right. Uh, fair enough. Um, <laughs> so, Eric, since you're all up on this, uh, what about the uh, action bar and upgrades on this ship? Uh, so we got focus, target lock, barrel, lo- barrel roll. Ooh, barrel low. Jesus Christ. Barrel low. Yeah, they're like roll rolls, only barrel they're low. less size of a barrel. I was just thinking Ooh, barrel awesome. rolling Kylo. <laughs> um, barrel roll. Yes, a lot That's of a neat trick. Um, and also has the reload action. They come with torpedoes, missiles, unhinged astromech, and illicits. Ooh, all right. Uh, speaking of unhinged, that might actually, as it turns out, be a good move on this ship, depending on what the dial is. Unfortunately, they didn't actually spoil the dial. What can we see? We can see a 4K. And that's we see a 4K, 4K that's red. And yeah. they talked about later on in the article that the one and two fast turns are also red. Oh, so. Yeah. So that's like oh, TIE Defender God. style. And they want this. Uh, that with the bullseye arc seems. It's fine. It's no. fine. It's been play tested. It's fine. Okay. Okay. So, um, speaking of bullseye, I guess. Yeah. What does that one do? Uh, bullseye. Fun fact: you can make one of these that costs fifty-three points. <laughs> Max. Of course you can. <laughs> I'm a little surprised it's only fifty-three. So, is that going to be your new pairing with Dengar? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I will sing more points than this. Have a forty-seven point Dengar. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, he no. lost all of his uh, slots. So. I, he can't have a forty-seven. Dengar point title, Dengar. lone wolf. That's forty-seven, 43 right? Three point Dengar to have a better initiative bid. You oh, gotta yeah. have that four. Yeah, point you gotta bid. have an issue. Take bid. that title off, man. Oh, there you go. Get free up points. some points. <laughs> That's still a twelve point bid. That's pretty good, guys. Two dice Dengar. I've heard is pretty good. Yeah. Oh, God. Um, <laughs> Bullseye firing arc. Bullseye firing arc. arc. Um, when attacking, if the defender is inside your bullseye firing arc, the defender cannot spend focus tokens to modify defense dice or evade tokens to add an evade result. Okay. Hmm. So I assume that means pilot abilities still work. And auto thrusters. Yeah, it seems like work. it's specific to tokens. Yeah, yeah, because so, auto thrusters um, is changing a result, not adding yeah, a. Uh, yeah. yeah. Not adding one. Yeah. Uh, should call it the bullshit firing arc. The derivative firing wait, arc. Wait, so does that mean... Wait, uh, can you still use pose ability then? Yeah. Because be. you're not spending it? Does it you're specifically not s- say spend? Well, wait, go back on I there. I believe so, yeah. Let's look. Oh, it's a good question. You cannot spend focus tokens. So, yeah, you can still use uh, pose ability. Hmm. Yeah, because these are going to so, catch Poe in that arc. Easily circumvented. It's it's good against defenders. We'll reach around. I mean, there's <laughs> always the possibility, depending on the pilots. But so, should we actually talk about uh, the? Well, uh, uh, b- before we get to the pilots, uh, I mean, this is the okay. first major change we've seen to like firing arcs and stuff, right? People yeah. have been complaining about turret wing forever. I-, I think this is a cool concept, and I hope we see it on more ships. Yeah. I, yeah. Having it on more ships, I think, would be cool. I think it's going to be a bitch to try and measure. Yeah. It would have been but, super cool in wave two or three. Yeah. Oh, Jousting yeah. Jousting was a thing. Yeah. 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 Um, I mean, if you could go back and redo things, I mean, the B-Wing would have something like this, right? I could, yeah. I could potentially hear an argument for, like, every straight-up fighter-type ship having one of these. Yeah. Maybe. Like, Especially, like... Say the Tie Fighter, where it has those two laser right. cannons that Especially are right with there. Like two dice. Yeah, so so, so everything that like only this. has the primary arc, it doesn't have a primary turret or even the turret slot. Would yeah. get this. I like that. Be interesting. So basically, X Wing Two Point Oh, just all the same ships, all the yeah, same bullshit results. Yeah, but they all have the bullseye. Extra measuring, I mean, man. Why not? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah, that's <laughs> goddamn it. Um, yep. 
<laughs> so, I mean, like, the bullseye is interesting. Uh, the thing that I worry about is if this thing is already saying it's got red turns, like, how easy are you going to be able to fly and I mean, get somebody in this arc? This, if we were to see, like, we need to see the dial, yeah. right? Like, yes. if it's got a bunch of... A bunch of red. Or it's... One is it one and two turns? Yeah, are one they and hard two. turns or do they, yeah. no? They got to be turn. Hard it's turns. direct hard quote turns. is the um, one and two speed turns are red. This is gonna have a hard time keeping yeah. things in arc. Barrel roll helps. It does. Barrel the barrel roll, roll definitely does help. But, but then you're still... losing out on your mods. Um, well, but maybe your mods are less. The, the, the mods might not matter as much if it. the barrel roll gets you that. Uh, I mean, you arc. could always use mind. Li- oh wait, no. Nope. Yeah, sorry, mm. no mind link fun for you. That's okay. You'll have expertise on it with my <laughs> fifty-three point version. <laughs> Great, <laughs> terrific. Yeah, um, work with all those red turns. <laughs> yeah, for real. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, do we want to go down the pilots then? Let's start off with the low ones so that we can build to your nightmare 50-something point guy. Good old mm. So at brute. the low end, we have our Cartel Brute. Brute? Uh, he is a three pilot skill. My favorite cologne growing yep. up. Yep. I know. It's Cartel it's... Brute? <laughs> <laughs> it smells like a hut, like a hut den. <laughs> with, Beautiful. you know, Ooh, notes of cinnamon like and uh, a little, little bit of musk. Of, dab yeah, a little musk. bit on your neck. And yeah. Do the old... Uh, uh, he comes in at 22 points. That was my favorite part of Stranger Things. Too. So, compares pretty favorably to the B-Wing. Um, Almost equal, I would say. Yeah, you're paying one more point for the extra pilot skill. And yeah, B-Wing's just got that fucking killer shield hull spread. Yeah, oh, and yeah. also B-Wing's got the uh, the sensor slot, which is really powerful. Yeah, that is really good, too. Um but this has got Illicit. Um, we'll see a good one of those later on. Yeah. Is the uh, B-Wing the PS3? P- PS2. Two and four. It's PS2. Two. Yeah. Um, torpedo and missile means that it can take long-range scanners. Yeah, I mean, it's, so got that, that, it's got that reload. So. Yep. Uh, but low, long-range scanners on the low pilot skill is actually really useful. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That'll be good. So, uh, so similar point so cost to a B-Wing, but probably serving different mm-hmm. roles. Well, I mean, they're both going to be hard jousters. Or, or, right, I mean, but, but they're both not going to be in the meta. With, like, yeah. you know, fire control or advanced sensors or sometimes sometimes cannons, I guess, when this is focusing on... Uh, on munitions. Yeah. And the, it's and dumb. The bullseye. It's never going to be in the meta, so... <laughs> yeah. um, the, the back of your, uh, your little binder is about the same place as the B-Wing would be, which will, this will be there, too. They can be buddies! No, I have to, I have to organize mine. Oh, sure. They, I can't shove things that I don't use in the back. They have to stay in alphabetical oh, okay. order by pilot skill. Faction, <laughs> pilot skill. <laughs> nice. Uh, all of it. Alphabetical. And then when a new wave comes out, more. I have to spend an hour moving So you're going to hate this and wave with say five ships, right? <laughs> yeah. 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 I'm not excited about You mean about the these two wave. waves that they should have just called one fucking They, they wave. are calling yes. it one wave now. This way they're getting over the whole like superstition of 13. By the way, if you're oh not- god, they're just going to come out with wave fourteen and mm-hmm. never actually have wave thirteen. <laughs> That'd be great. Yeah. It's like, um, it's like, it's like a hotel. Floor. Yeah, it's yeah. like the floor in a hotel. If we don't call it the thirteenth floor, floor. hotel, Did so it's like killing it. Fun thing, words. If you are god. getting one ship for from this five ship wave, uh, if you're not buying from demo, you're going to be out over a hundred bucks. Oh. Or you could just not buy most of them. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, well, I was going to try and segue into, hey, guys, uh, if you're living local and can go to Demo and um, pre-order, you should pre-order. Um, last time I went in and talked to him, uh, guys, I'm half the pre-orders for I that I knew it. <laughs> Are you the other half? Me? No, I haven't pre-ordered shit. I don't even have guns for hire yet. So Scott, you did. How you want to buy one? Space wings, or star wings? Four star wings. Four. Shit. Uh, then one of the ship pairs, two of the chemo hila. Chemo gyla. <laughs> ship pairs. Um, one it's of the bombers. One shape. of the it's silences. It's such a good name. Yep. Um, so there's also a PS5 cartel. Yeah. It has an EPT, but we don't know how much it costs. It starts with E. I want to venture a guess that it's cartel enforcer. I, I want to say that it's cartel. <laughs> I think it'd be cartel like extant or something. <laughs> no, it's is actually cartel enforcer already a pilot. 
I think so. No, no, it's uh, Black Sun Enforcer. Oh, okay. um, it's actually Cartel thing. Ecstasy. Because the other one's like mm. Cartel. It's just, it's just, just like, like touching, touching itself the whole time. Well, yeah. the one above it yeah. costs 25 points, so it's going to be 23 or 24 for that yeah. one. Yeah. The, yeah. the Cartel yeah. EBDBBNB. Uh, oh, shit. <laughs> yep. <laughs> If it's 23, that's pretty good for a PS5 with an EPT. Yeah, yeah that isn't bad. Which means it'll be 24. Or Does somehow. It, have not if you it has an EPT. On you it. can see it. So, which means it'll actually somehow be 25 or 26. Points and the same as the one above it? Yeah. Yeah, the same ooh, ooh. as uh, Dallin Oberus. And Curry. Yeah, 25 points for PS7. Which is. Which is better than Curry. It's mm-hmm. fucking he, way better than Curry. She's over too. Dallin Oberus. Adds a uh, EPT, and so this is the first time we've got a pilot in the same faction with the same name that has a different pilot ability. So you're saying they fucked up with Kylo and that interceptor? That, or they decided what I'm the saying other is, Dallin was really, really bad. <laughs> no, what I'm saying is that they reference it in the article that maybe this is a different Dallin Oberus. Is he oh, also yeah. a Star Viper pilot? Why yeah. isn't this just Nan Torf's? Right, yeah. <laughs> Best Star Wars name oh, ever. Man. And then he could have had like a sweet ass mustache painted on the cockpit. Oh, oh the franchising good. fees. Oh. Mm. Okay. So, um, Eric, what's uh, Dallin Obris's pilot ability in this ship? At the start of the combat phase, you may acquire a target lock <laughs> on an enemy ship inside your bullseye firing arc at range of one to three. Which, you know, is a I good ability good for a ship eye. like this. Free ah. target lock. <laughs> yeah. Damn it. <laughs> It's a good ability for a ship of this I mean, type. He'd be no. amazing if he could take Mangler Cannon. Fuck oh, yeah. Shit. Everything's good if only Mangler. he was a gunboat. <laughs> Star Wing. you could put the heavy sick title on him. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. Um, no, actually, I really like his I do, too. Ability. I think it would be pretty yeah. good. Makes sense. And you, know, you can get him to nine. Gives you some Which, you of course, is like probably going to come stapled with him, yeah. given our meta with the whole PS War right. shit coming back. Yep. Yeah. So yeah. VI and no, ship staple to him, yeah. yeah. Otherwise, mm-hmm. like that's a ship that you're going to lose before he shoots. Though I guess if you had expertise on him, you could barrel roll every turn and yeah. just get conceivably focus target lock. Every although turn although expertise won't work roll. if you have to do the one or two turns. Uh, even if you're stressed, you can still get the target lock with his ability because yeah, you're acquiring so that's pretty it. Pretty good. Yep. Yep. So he's. Pretty good. I think he, we can actually see him see play. I think so. Um, yeah, until until everybody realizes it's a shit ship, and then they'll stop. I mean, I mean, people the realize it's a shit ship by looking really at good. it. This thing looks so dumb. <laughs> I actually love the way it looks. I think it looks pretty cool. Just, I thought you hated it, Tater. Looks like a it's cockpit big, makes no truck. sense. I hate the paint on it, but that's yeah. it. I I want. I don't hate. The I way can't it looks. wait to see John Crafts uh, painting when he repaints one as da- this Dallin Oberus. Well, well, who is it that said this looks like something out of Halo? Me, uh, kind of everybody. Yeah, favorite. no, like that. <laughs> that's all I see Just now, and I look, didn't like any of the Halo games. I'd like to see it with that purple color that the like the Halo ships have. The alien. I like it, have. but I owned it in Star Wars Galaxy. Hell yeah, so you did. That changed, which is why bit. I'm holding out for the Lady Luck uh, yacht because oh, I yeah. have one of those. Fuck yeah, Star that Wars thing was Galaxies. the bomb. That it was a cool. casino. Um, yeah. Step dance parties in space. Yeah. <laughs> well, you made people it's food my in your restaurant, <laughs> and you would charge them to transport them to other planets. And I was really cool. I wanted. slot machines. And <laughs> I wasn't an asshole. Okay. I am so what changed? <laughs> I think it was a yeah, what changed, Brody? <laughs> you got me. Yep. Shit. So, yeah. That okay. one was empty. It's okay. Thank goodness. Uh, we do have one more pilot. It's the top pilot. Yeah. He's the one you can make 53 points, in case <laughs> anyone was wondering. Torami Son of a bitch. Gouda. She? Yeah, she. She is Torami Gouda. Paint job's Gouda. hot. She's PS8, 27 points. So, not bad for a PS8. So she's PS10. Mm-hmm. She's PS10 and 28 <laughs> points, but does not have an EPT slot anymore. Um, <laughs> after you perform an attack, each enemy ship inside your bullseye firing arc at range 1 to 3 must choose to suffer one damage or remove all of its focus and evade tokens. See, that, I think, is a pretty cool ability, but... It's going to get rules to be bad. no fucking swarms around anymore. You're never so. going to get two ships in. Yeah. Yeah. 
Um, that's still really good on one ship. It would it's be a free damage. Awesome. No, epic. It's a great. Oh yeah, no. It's a great ability. I'm just saying. The question I saw posed was: If you have no tokens, can you choose to remove all of your zero tokens? <sighs> if they're following the same, no. if they're following the same logic as the Destiny developers, yes. I would think that would be something that they would just say no it, it, to. Have they... You would hope, but it's going to get ruled both ways for five months after the ship comes well, out until we get another fact. <laughs> Isn't there something mm. with, like, Kian Farlander or uh, Gar- Kian Gar- Farlander Garland where can you can, like, spend a focus if you don't have it or something like that? I mean... Uh, you, well, can you can spend can, your you stress s- if you don't need a focus. You can even, spend a focus or that stress for Kian if you don't need to change any eyeballs. Yeah. Even even in that case, you can't count on that because has FFT ever been consistent with any of them? No, they're, they're not. I, I, just, I thought array. there was something for a really old ship that was sort of related, like spending tokens you didn't have. I just can't remember what it is, though. Yeah, hmm. yeah. Kian lets you. You can spend your stress even if you don't like roll focus or. Well, because technically the way focus. it is is that you're spending the token, and you're turning all of your eyeballs up. You just didn't happen to roll any eyeballs. Yeah. So in most cases, you're an idiot to spend that. But in this case, because you're actually spending the stress token instead of a focus token, you're actually okay. Spending. Okay. Yeah. So, that, that's yeah. that's yeah. Right. I, I knew it was like, something sort of simple. I like this ability for Epic, which I'll I'll never use. Yep. Cool. So yeah. my question is: Is what do you guys do when you're on the other end of this? Do you take the damage or do you lose the? Depends on the ship. I guess it's. I guess if you have an evade, it's like fine. I'll lose the evade. It was the same. Yep. Same amount, but like focus token, you could maybe. I think the save more real damage. Do you, I guess you want to gamble or not is what you. I reposition doing. and get out of the way. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, here yeah, is yet another... Dan. With my PS11 quick draw or Vader. Yeah, I well, mean, so, that's your only shot. So yet again, here's another ship that would really hurt soon to hear because you could be at PS10 Just and catch him, him while he's and take away <laughs> all his focus and evade <laughs> tokens or a third around. of his health. But yeah, now it's, you don't see Man, it's, it's good against defenders. Too. I can't, yes, back. Defenders I can't really wait for the developers to do another interview and be like, well, how often do you see Sutir? Who, so who gives a shit? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't hate this uh, one. I think this. Sh- no, I, I like either. this one. I don't hate it. I'm getting to the. I, shit, I, I mean, so. I, I agree. It's a pain how it's worded, but I hope everybody around here just you know rules as intended or whatever it is. You know. Yeah. That you take a damage if you don't. Yeah. Have to the thing is, you don't can never rules. understand rules as intended. Though, yeah. Because yeah. they. You're not in their head. Gonk wasn't intended to be what it is now. Which, which version but, of God? Well, I'm talking about like the developer like, said it didn't work, and then they fact it that it did work. And I believe that the uh, the original creators of the rules knew what they were doing, and that we shouldn't interpret them in ways. Okay, that are, uh, rules as, as common it. sense. Then. Thanks. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> you say that now, but when I get appointed to the X-wing Supreme Court and start ruling from the bench. <laughs> I can That's safely a say position. that joke was yeah. still going. Everyone, <laughs> I, I can safely say that this. I is really the enjoyed day. it. <laughs> this upgrade that we're about to talk about is probably the too. only thing I want out of this pack. In um, fact, it's standing so offer, good. I will buy your contraband cybernetics out of your pack. Hell's yeah, you will. To run with what ship? Um, maybe like a fire spray or some shit like that. Uh, how about any scum ship, really? Yeah, mm-hmm. it it's just super. What's fucking Darth useful. Maul doing with a gun? I don't know. He's weird looking. Fucking shit up. Yeah, so, his arms all messed it's up. It's a he one point. Really skinny for. Is Darth that Tarani Kanandi? I don't even know what that means. <laughs> Not even. Maybe it's there's a there's a Kirex fighter in the background. Kirex. Yeah. Well, that's bullshit. So it's a one point illicit contraband cybernetics. When you become the uh, here's. I guess I'll preface this by saying it is a wall of text card. Yep. Yay. When you become the active ship during the activation phase, you may discard this card and receive one stress token. If you do, until the end of the round, you may perform actions and red maneuvers even while you're stressed. Yeah. So it's kind of like, it's basically inertial dampeners because it's like a one-off, but it's way fucking cooler. Mm Mm-hmm. Can they shorten that? It's like inertial like, dampeners mixed with lightning reflexes mixed with adrenaline rush. Yeah, mm-hmm. for one point because they took they took those cards and they're like, well, nobody uses these, so we'll wait till I fly my gunboat rush list. 
<laughs> you had something to say, Mike? Yeah. No, I, I was just fighting the wall of text. Couldn't they just take the first two and a half lines and just say, when you activate? Is that not... Well, no, because yes. then... Yeah, no, because then, then, like, if somebody gives you a free action with, like, Ahsoka or that new fucking Phantom title... Are you activating? No, yeah, there's weird. No, whatever. No, I would say no. no but not. like, you're when gonna you have those people dial. who are like, I'm activating. This is consistent wording with other similar. <laughs> consistently things. bad. Yes. Yeah, it's consistently overly yeah. wordy. Yes, but it's consistent. I, but we can all agree it's a really good list. Like they, I think they so. decided to dedicate a wall of text to to make sure this was clear. Yeah. But not, I think that art is reused the, from one the of the uh, Edge of the Empire source books. I can't remember which one, though. But. They've been going deep hmm. on the Edge of Empire stuff in these articles. so because they're out of shit. Yep, of course. For scum. Yeah. Again, though, that's a really good illicit card. Yeah, I'm pretty it's sure that's pretty Trelawney goddamn Kolda. cool. I can't wait to run it with Jabba Crew on my slaver. Yeah, no, that's... God, on a slaver. Oh, fuck. No. It's like, hard stop. Forever. <laughs> No, it's a discard. Or twice. Forever, ever? Not twice. with so Jabba Crew, like, I can do it twice. It's like so three turns. So forever, I can stop for twice. three turns. Forever until it's dead. It's going to be so it's, cool. It's forever, according to that ship. It's going to be ever, great on my Shadow it, Caster. Ever, that's pretty good. When I can get <laughs> two of them and then have Jabba on another ship and thus get four. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Well, that'll be good. <laughs> <laughs> What's something that Jabba always needs, guys? Um... A fucking those like frogs diet <laughs> diet he's frogs? probably a healthy weight for a hut maybe yeah. i don't know he gained I mean, a lot between a uh, one and six all i'm saying is <laughs> i am not a doctor who specializes in hutties physiology Dear so listener. i don't know hutties but you have a twitter account so i think that makes you an authority right the, uh... excuse me dear listener i try to segue for you but <laughs> i don't I, it was such a good segue that I think we all rebelled against it. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, nah. uh Somebody we fucking just cannot anyone. stand. You group of scum. As I said earlier, we are professionals. Speaking okay. of professionals, you know what's also a professional? An enforcer. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I'll read this one. Yay. Thanks, Mike. <laughs> the Enforcer title is unique. It's got the dot by it, and it's for the M12L Chemogyla fighter only. I don't know why I've never pronounced it like that before, but that's what it is from now on, Chemogyla. Uh, after defending, if the attacker is inside your bullseye firing arc, it receives one stress token. God damn it. Which I feel like so... we fucked up. A long time yeah, we, ago. we super <laughs> fucked up because I thought it went the other way and it's actually playable. This is significantly less playable based on how the article describes it. Wait, what is? how does the article describe it? That it is that the person who is shooting at you right. gets the stress when they attack you. Yeah, not, that's, that's how it reads. Yeah. I... The last time we talked about this, when it was first revealed, I was going off the idea that it was essentially tactician, but your bullseye fire. Tactician or no, so After defending so like, the basically. attacker, like you can't be inside your own bullseye yeah. fire. Yeah, I, I know that sounds like uh, an FFG ruling. You totally could. Some maybe sometimes and on a Tuesdays. little bit of Red Bull, and I disagree. <laughs> I heard a rumor about Marilyn Manson that he could be in his own bullseye firing arc. For sure, any history <laughs> more. Is that why he got those ribs removed? You know, if you just aim from the base, you can be in your own bullseye firing arc pretty easily. Dear listener, the previous five minutes were removed due to graphic sexual content. No, I'm leaving that in. I'll just put in some Foley work later, just some Vaseline noises. That's where you play X Wing online, right? So Your Vaseline. I don't, I don't understand why you don't think this is playable. This is I think this is pretty good. It's only yeah, one it encourages point. people yeah. not to attack you. It's like a rebel captive kind of Yeah, it's 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 also a really great a really way to good. shut down expertise. Like go ahead and yep. shoot at me. Well, it's after. It's defending. after. Never mind. They, they still, suck. They still what am I talking about? <laughs> Save it's, your point for anything it's, else. It's an initiative point bid. Discouragement. Yeah. For the ships that you're never going to get in your arc, your fire bullseye. Yeah, I mean, like, my Vader and my Quick Draw are going to be like, ha 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 ha, fuck you! So it's good on the named one and not on the generics? Yep. Yeah, yeah probably. I mean, the higher get PS, one anyway, the so. Um, so there are two cards that we don't know anything about R5TK and Scrambler Missiles. 
It also has two copies of Saturation Salvo, some plasma torpedoes. I bet Scrambler missiles do something. Yeah. Probably yeah. the they same should, as like that. They give you four sure that that other one. Like they they have laid out here in the covered. picture. Scram yeah. Missy. That's right. Scram Missy. That's right. <laughs> That's what it is. Yeah, Scram Missy. How do you um, like your missiles? Our fine TK looks like Boba Fett. Over easy. Mm. Um, mm. Yeah, clearly the Scram Missies um, <laughs> do something with jam tokens. I was trying to stop that, but the yeah, let's keep talking handies. about Scram Missies. No, this is my favorite. <laughs> so the ship comes with four jam tokens, so either Scram Missies or R5TK does something with that. I mean, it also has weapons disabled tokens. That's because reload. of reload. Is that a dead man mm-hmm. switch? Oh, yes, reloads. it does come with a dead man switch. You didn't have enough? God damn it, why? Uh, it also comes packaged with three shield tokens rather than two. Ooh. So is R5TK the new... It's like, like a like shield upgrade. Or, yeah, maybe. Or a that'd be kind of cool. Or, or there's just room on the punch board. Yeah, maybe. room on the punch board, or, or they, they just, fu- just they were throwing tokens out for this picture, and you know didn't fucking pay attention. That would also be God. Hard. How it's great would it be if I mean, like it didn't even come with the jam tokens? <laughs> just like I don't know. Um, it was it actually, a ruse. It actually just comes with one shield token. And like we forgot this is a scum ship. Last minute change. Oh, Last minute so change. We gave it two looks shields. like our five TK is zero points, so it's definitely nothing with shields or anything. Oh yeah, that would we can totally it. see it. Or zero it's points. ten points. Well, it's genius, and they've already oh, nerfed shit, it. It's ten points. <laughs> <laughs> you can regen up to one above your shield value <laughs> once per game, it's... and then discard this card. <laughs> it's like a that's that's accurate. Turtle. Yes, that's probably what it and is. And if you're a rebel, well, you can do it every yeah, turn. Yeah, any rebel can take this and reduce its point cost by six. So Plus there was regen what, two shields a year or more between the re- the release of the Kirax and uh, Guns for Hire. So how long until we get Guns for Rent to make this thing useful? Uh, never, um, never. Guns for lease, lease. That's better. It's yeah. rent to rent own. to own. Yes. <laughs> Come down to Rena Center and get yourself a chemo dia. <laughs> chemo dia. John, that's funny. The problem is, is like. <laughs> The first game you get it, it's, you know, 21 points, but then just the interest starts getting there. And by the end, you'll have actually paid, by the end of the tournament, you'll have actually paid like 38 points to put it in the list. He's still on the run. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Honestly, though, Keep going. I feel like great. I should. I, I mean, the actual Red Center joke is that we should be flying more rack. Like, but. Missed opportunity, though. <laughs> Don't missed laugh at that. Uh, I, I shouldn't have called it the Chemo Dia. I should have called it the Yoba Goya Fighter. <laughs> Yoba Goya, the food will destroy you. <laughs> Yoba Goya. I'm waiting for the Baba Yaga. No, it's not that good. Is this episode over? Yeah, it doesn't. No, it doesn't I mean, it was over three ships we around. Started. We yeah. still have. There's something on there, right? It has cross. We have more. We got. We got the dial to talk oh, about. Shit. That's just going to be shit. The dial. Yeah, the dial's probably almost certainly. They shit. hint that it's going to be shit. I mean, I mean at least it has the that's one and two bet. hard turns. At least hard it has turn. a dial. Well, and actually, the nice thing is, you could dial that in, and you have your contraband cybernetics, and you can do some dirt one turn. I think this is going to have a new maneuver where it's like, oh, because you're scum and you did a one hard, you get double stressed. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like just we gave you that really good elicit that lets you take an action after we double stressed you. So now but you're now double you have stressed. <laughs> you should preface it with scum small ship because yeah, all the scum like, large ships are very good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I, I was going to say answer. there's there's a, a card in here that says, oh, you spent 26 points on this instead of an Intel agent bump master. What's wrong with you? No shit. <laughs> That's the flavor text on the highest. That's the flavor text <laughs> yeah. on every scum small ship by the protectorate. Why, why, do you why take didn't a jump you master? Just a jump master. What the fuck is wrong with you? Speaking of jump master, Eric, uh, how do you feel about the new fact? There's what? a new fact. I mean, fact yeah. you. All right, moving on. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why they refuse to talk about it. Yeah, we don't have to read it. But end of show. <laughs> I mean, I, uh, it's I don't. It, it was mostly no, there's good. a lot of good stuff in it. Yeah, I think they, like, I'm fucking. I happy don't think with most of the shit. In as there. far as like the jump master goes, I don't think they address the real problem, which is the dial and how fucking cheap it is. Yep. But taking away a bunch of slots is. Sort it just of means the way that they need now to go. you're going to fly a much leaner Dengar. I mean, you can still fly a pretty lean Dengar that could still be pretty nasty, Dengar. but you're not going to have a Dengar that's like, 
here's a disgusting alpha strike. I killed or crippled most of your list, and now I got a nasty pilot ability at the deal yeah. with. So it's just now you have a nasty pilot ability. My- now you're just Fat Han mm-hmm. before you were Fat Han with an alpha strike. Yeah. Mm-hmm. My my serious question is: Have you taken a whole punch to your Dengar cards yet? I broke three punch card, three hole punches trying to punch through that cool metal one I got. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and then Heather was like, "I need those for work," and I was like, "Sorry." <laughs> I mean, I, yeah, like everybody else, everybody else mm-hmm. out there in internet land. Uh, that that Biggs fucking nerf was Woo-hoo. heavenly. Yep. Uh, it it Ooh, touched baby. me deep inside. But now you there's no T sixty fives that are even in the Ooh, meta. Heaven is oh, a place on earth. No. Have you met Wedge Antilles? I had to change my No, no, Bro- Brody's that. right. There are no T sixty fives in the meta now, but they freed yeah. themselves up to put a, a fix or buff out later that it Biggs won't they ruin. Done anyway. Well, they could have, but then think about how salty we'd be with. Like a Biggs that has that no. much more hit. All they have to do and, is, like, uh, and, and cannot strength. be put on Biggs. They don't have to be fluff. doesn't have to be anything special. They could have just been, like, uh, cannot be put on Biggs. I mean, I, I agree, but they made it. That it's is pretty obvious thing. they weren't going to do that, so. Yeah, they're a terrible I, I, fucking developers. I just think that they don't really like putting a lot of text on this. <laughs> <laughs> they like stuff to be clean and concise. <laughs> uh, this is all coming because you're playing games where the the company doesn't suck. <laughs> well, no, Alexa. No. <laughs> Bad Alexa. No, order that. Yes, <laughs> dear dear listener, take a shot because Alexa interrupted again. <laughs> what did she want? I have no idea. Uh, I don't even remember what's in the fags or anything like that. I care about. Uh, oh, they they clarified oh, yeah. how Boba Fett and Navigator uh, yeah, work. Right. I was Say really that. waiting for that. <laughs> I was actually going to say they finally made the clarification on the rules for Jabba so that he's playable. Yeah, I mean, but nice. was there really a TO out there that was like, rules is written, Jabba? I I'm was sure. anybody playing it? I mean, why would you? He's not playable. He's really good in Epic when you've got three other... Uh, when like you've he's... got three, no, when you've got three aggressors that have a uh, glitter symbol. Yeah, I so mean, you've got like eight uses of by playable. Stem. You mean <laughs> or like coming soon? Cyber. Wait, can you cybernetically upgrade your droid? What? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Mean? Why would you not be able to? Well, I don't know. You could give a droid drugs. It, it, is it not yeah. technically yeah. cybernetics anymore at that point? I thought cybernetics all implied it's just like a liver transplant, like except it gives them rocket parts. parts. Oh, that's how R2 got those. Yeah. He was high on the they donor were donated list? donated to him, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, of course. Look at him. Wow. So, um, did this fact do the make the same mistake that they made three other times with the Jumpmaster? By destroying Genius and not fixing the cause or the root cause? The oh, absolutely. Yeah, Nim, well, I, I don't know. Nim's got is is Genius things. the thing that was putting Nim over the top? No. It definitely helps. It's sort of, it's like, I think it's sort of like the Deadeye nerf on the Jumpmaster where it's... It's going to make it, different builds. It makes it so like it's not just like autopilot. You can't just slap it on there and just be like, yep, yeah, everything fucking worked out the best for me. You can't do anything about it. It takes a little more skill. He's still nasty, but... I, I uh, agree with that. Yeah. Should they have unnerfed Deadeye? Yes. In this fact? What they should have done is unnerfed R4 Agromech and Manaru. What? So what else? <laughs> yeah. Disagree. I, s- I still think Jump Deadeye Masters on? are fine. That's big is there, 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 I mean, Is there a big base Dengar's fine. that you can put Deadeye on besides the Jump Master? Uh, you could put it on... Fire Spray! Bosk. Or a fire spray. A oh, fire spray. Oh shit! I forgot the our favorite ship, the Decimator. Oh yeah, so you could use those torpedoes in half. or the one missile on the yeah. Falcon. Oh yeah, the Falcon. I um, think the Jump Master is okay, but only Dengar and the Scout. Yeah, and the Scout's really only okay as one, maybe now. Yeah, yeah. T- yeah Tell is definitely dead. I agree. And Man- Manaru, Manaru is pushed to worthless. the edge. If for some reason you want a PS advantage over generic Scouts. Was anybody running Manaru right now? No, they nerfed no. it way too much. So it's nerfed um, again. No, Manaru comes back into play though if you unnerf her, but still have the 
slot restrictions and everything, right? But then there's MindLink that got fucked. Yeah, MindLink yeah. got nerfed, which I it's unnecessary. I very late. disagree with. Too late. It was already kind of irrelevant. So I mean, if this fact had come out eight months ago, I mean, I sh- <laughs> <laughs> it's still like. Mind link was incidental, like yeah. other than Paratani, which is no longer even like a power list because of, not even like everything 10. else was in the meta. Yeah. Like was there a three ship Atani list that was running havoc? I think in California they were having issues like but a they lot of people were doing away Dengar the- Fen and in Aldra. Which is sort of Paratani. I mean similar concept. Yeah. But is was it beating four ship rebels constantly? Was it beating I don't know. I I don't know. Like, my favorite list to run... Well, not favorite list, because I don't like this game. But, like, game, lists I like to run are, like, the four ship, like... Scum, stupid, small ship, mm-hmm. bullshit Yeah, stuff, like, a know? little six swarm with yeah. mind link. Like... Or those it's ships not, are actually... Well, it, it would have been more situations. fun if they made it, like, yeah. you have to have an even number of these. That would have been fun. So you have yeah. to go two, four, or six. That could be cool. Yeah, I don't know. Seems like it was just like another kick to like... And I get it. I'm really biased on scum stuff. Yeah. But it just sounded like, oh, yeah, we fucked your best ship and your best They, they fucked the best ship for years now, and it's still won two worlds in a row. So it probably won't so, now. Yeah, two worlds in a row, six months apart, that didn't have the meta shake. He says before Edgar Nim takes worlds this year. I, Put a big I don't think, I don't think Nim's going to take it this year now that we've had that genius nerf, which, again, I think they should have done something to Nim, but you know, if they're not going to adjust points... It's ca- yeah, but we're going to have two full waves that come in before, before this world's. world's. I, I, don't, mean, I don't like, trust their release schedule to get two out before then. Or the double wave we're getting. No. Last Worlds happened. Oh, yeah. Nim okay. came out. Yep. And now five more ships are going to come out at least, plus guns for higher fix. Mm-hmm. That's like a pretty big world shakeup. And yes, if somehow Dengar is still at the top, mm-hmm. just burn the fucking model. Just ban it. Yeah. I, yeah, I think it, it, it is yeah. still co- like competitive and could be at the top, but yeah, it's... Oh yeah, that's the the scary thing is is that with all this, Dengar is still perhaps the best single scum pilot. In he the should game be good still. though. He's, yeah, he, he has yeah. nine. He has a baller yeah, like ability. Like, uh, there's, yeah, no argument there. There's no reason for him not to be the best ship mm-hmm. on the scum side. But yeah, I mean that's what your PS nine ships are supposed to be. Yes, I mean that's the thing though. Like, uh, Nim is still great mm-hmm. with this genius nerf. Like. You can still do the advanced sensors thing. Yep. You still have Bomblet. Sort of. Remember, the other it. thing My that came with a genius. lot of the... Yeah, it's the genius forces you to discard. If, if, you, if you bump in one yeah, of Bomblet, you have to discard. Take something different. Just yeah. don't take genius. Yeah. Take pain bot. Or take genius and fucking extra munitions. Mm-hmm. Because two clutch bombs. Or, or at that point, it might be better easily. to... I, I can't remember the other bombs. Or, or the points on the other bombs, I mean, but... Extra a thousand bombs. Yeah. I mean, you're not really going to run proton bombs at I two. Mean proton points. bombs. Thermal detonators is the same cost. Proton Seismic and ion dope, are one point less. But I mean, that you know what else you can do now is instead of geniuses, maybe you don't even take the havoc title and you can run Cad Bane. Cream. Yeah. Cad Bane and bomb looks pretty good. Uh, you do lose out on your sensor slot though. Sensor's yeah. probably better than Cad Bane. Um, is the biggest travesty of this fact is that Painbot can't be with his lover, Dengar, anymore? Right. Yeah, that really I can sucks. get behind that, yeah. That, I was, like, positive that they <clears throat> would link it to the title. Which, yeah. yeah. They should have just missed hundred it and said you had to take Painbot. Oh, that'd be pretty You put the title on, <sighs> you have to take Painbot. And, still, and yeah, maybe, they, like maybe it gives you, like, a point to... Decrease, which of course it fucking wouldn't because they refuse to do that. You but may like, equip pain, you must equip Painbot at no cost. Yeah, you must equip Painbot. He's fucking there. That would be cool. That'd be pretty good. Like, you have no choice. That's the only way you can get the third attack die. Which also, like, puts kind of a more of a cap on Dengar because then you have that possibility of taking damage when you get Isn't, hit. I mean, because then the title's 15 points, right? Or 14 points. How much is Painbot? Two or three points? Three. Three. So 15 points. Well, you can choose so like Painbot, right? You don't have to use him. No, no, what they're saying, saying is that the, the punishing one title right. is 
you take it if you take this title you equip painbot which I, I like but I'm, I, I was just asking do you have to use painbot every time or can you choose to use him oh, like oh use his in ability. the ability yeah you, yeah, you choose, choose. Okay. yeah I, I, I like that idea actually that'd be fun I, mean, that, I think that's something that kind of sucks now like what, what would you put painbot on now Nim. Maybe Nim. Maybe Nim. What? What? I, you could put on one of the. Oh, King, you could put him King on one of these new ships, technically. Yeah. Oh, the quesadillas. Yeah. What, what that salvage action man? Uh, y wing. Y wings. Nim and Nim. That's and it. Jump master. Or did the jump master did the jump master did? Because mm-hmm. before you could only put him on jump masters or Y wings. Yeah. And Tavik. Well, now, yeah, because of Nim, right? Yeah. The Havoc title. Mm-hmm. Is there something with Rebels that lets you take... Havoc title. Havoc, Havoc Nim does. can take okay. it in Rebels. Yeah, Nim. if the fact had also said Rebel Nim doesn't exist anymore, that would have been great. <laughs> I would have also been Fucking okay if they were like, there. Rebel Nim can actually only still take Rebel Astromax. Well, wait, no, because no, R2 I Astromax do not want R2-D2 R2 yeah, on, 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 no on, on a five-shield ship. Nope, never mind. Good point. Good call. Yeah, there's a bunch of... <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> oh, shit, I'm out of shots. Fuck, I'm dead. All I know is that my Paltmobile just got a new set of rims. Hell yeah. <laughs> are they spinners? Oh, yeah, they are. Oh, shit, they're spinners. Oh, <laughs> we <laughs> actually put spinner, like like fidget spinner rims on this Palp shuttle. Are they, are they actual rims or are they those hubcaps? Oh, they're the hubcaps with like little <laughs> propellers on them. <laughs> yeah, they are. You should get some under lighting effects fuck. done. Uh, he just got his ride pimped and then didn't realize that he had to like pay all the taxes on it and yeah. that it basically made his ride useless. Mm, he, like yeah. weighted it down super crazy hard. Yeah. Does it have LCD screen in the back that you can play classic Nintendo tapes? Yeah, he's doing that LCD. while he's occasionally yeah, just Nintendo going tape. palpacrit. Hell <laughs> <LCD>. yeah. <laughs> Jesus and on that right. note, thanks everybody. <laughs> shit is everything. Every, every, hey, we haven't gone uh, through the, the, the shit. No, oh, <laughs> <laughs> I have one more question this. Does this change your okay. approach to list building for regional season at all? No, no I'm still running the 3.2 special. Yeah, I'm still running 3.2 special. I think all this did was make the 3.2 special better. All right, good. I'm going to find Specialer. something uh, good against that, and I'm good. That's all I was asking. <laughs> I, mean, yeah. uh, I yeah. still just sort three list juggler Three wookies is really tournament. good against it. I mean, yeah. here's the thing, though. As the good as our lists did, like, there's still tons of counters for that list. Yeah, it's still perfectly feasible to take those guys down, which is why I'm flying pal paces. I mean, look, you shut down Eric's list if you just run determination on everything. <laughs> I'm not wrong. Two determination... Uh, Decimators is just like fucking wrecked it. Just like God, I can't get through this. Determination, (laughs) iron control, robots. It's a thing. Maybe. Hell's yeah. He can't like (laughs) drop your pilot skill. Maybe he can't blinded pilot you. Oh, Kylo's worthless. So do you run on the? Do you run with your robots? Do you put flechette cannon and ion cannon on there? Is that what you? Well, if you save the points on the EPT by sticking with determination, why the fuck not? No, run tractor no, beam on. No, I think it's really so good if because you eye on you, a small base, you, you can eye on the decimator and oh, then yeah. you stress it, and yeah. then it's not ever Kyloing. I should stop telling people how to. Beat well, you me have to double eye. You have um, to double right, but you have the points. Unless you're they play you round one, they're never going to play you with that list. Here, <laughs> here's the secret to beating me: make me angry in some way, and I will not be able to make rational fly thoughts. bombs. <laughs> so just talk about flat Earth society. Yeah, fly in with bombs and accuracy corrector, and I'll just walk around. God, this is fucking bullshit. Yeah, I was going to say the moment you hear that is the moment you win. You win. <laughs> Yeah. Ask and him it's also about how you get asked to be quiet. You've won in a lot of ways. Like you've pissed me off, and you've also won the round. Like, <laughs> ask him where you can get raw ways. milk. Um, <laughs> Jeez, order no, your eggs no, sunny side up. No, no, that we're not going there. How we're about not, yeah? Like, can we go to Village some, Inn instead? We're not going to Ron. No, they don't town. have any food there. Last time we went there, we're like, can we get decaf coffee? We don't have decaf coffee. We ran out. What about what grits? the fuck? You're at diner. What about grits? Anything. Trust me, you don't want the yeah. grits. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> can we I don't have coming back Village Inn on <laughs> State <laughs> Street? We don't, don't have any anyways. <laughs> Can I get this kind of pie? We're no. out of that kind of pie. No, they okay. wouldn't let us have free pie day. It was bullshit. 
Well, <laughs> two of the pies he asked for, they were out of, and then one of them was not on special. So I had to get the same pie everyone else did because that was the well, just, only just actual. Give me option. some bullshit then, or whatever. Yeah. Check us out on three point two <laughs> company, uh, <laughs> Facebook dot com three point two company, uh, Twitter at three point two company, Instagram at three point two. Mike, did you have other stuff you want to say? Uh, yeah, I did. There's stuff for other people too, though, uh, right? Maybe about the fact. Or are oh we no, just I, I, I thought you meant the, the end credits. Yeah. <laughs> I hope we lost Brody it. was trolling us again. Yeah. Shocking. No, I thought he was doing it for real. Aren't we wrapping up? It is about wrapping up. Wrap it up, wrap it up, wrap it up. Uh, it's, it's the fact is really good. The fact is good. The chemo gyla is shit. Super good. But I like the yeah, idea it's... of the bullseye firing arc. The yeah, fact I mean, is super gangster. It's... <laughs> super gangster. <laughs> Can you say that in a French accent? Is uh, how you say super gangster? Oh. <laughs> That one there you go. That, that sealed it. We should always have Mike on French camera. Nemoidian. He's like is even angrier on camera than he is in person. It's because he can't do anything about this. I took a like drink every song. time he rolled his eyes. Which I'm speaking of now, super we can't gangster. Home. What uh, what are you doing tomorrow, Scott? Um. Uh. <laughs> Not playing tight. Eric, fighting. tell us about Heather. She's great. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she also her? does really good artwork. Uh, you can find her at Heather Mahler Art on Facebook, at Heather Lime on Twitter, <laughs> and Heather Mahler 88 on Instagram. Yes. And as soon as this headphone starts to work again, what you, what you doing there? Can you hear me? There we go. Can yep. you hear me? I can hear you now. It actually came unplugged on my end. That's oh, just going to dump that pens is, everywhere. Yeah, that's that's yeah. asking for, for crazy town. Is that going to drop 15 pens? I didn't um, count how many pens are in there. Pen 15? Uh, anyway, <laughs> if you like swag and stuff... And who and doesn't? doesn't? You fucking I love consumers. Swag. I mean, yeah. yeah. Consume. I am a consumer Consume. whore. <laughs> and how. Go to our capitalism. store. Put on the glasses. Go to the 3.2 Company store. It's on 3.2company.com, and there's a tab that says store. It's dot com. There's stuff there. Dat cam. <laughs> uh, you can get our Duchess <laughs> alt art done by Heather Mahler Fine. for three dollars. You can also get an alternative dial fidget spinner for eight dollars. Hashtag They're never forget. Sleek black and never for, never forgive. Uh, and they say spin this, not dials. Or you can get. Both the Duchess and the Alternative Dial for $10. And all of that includes domestic shipping. To include Word. Canada. North hey. American shipping. I want to make it another continental Canada? joke. That's what, that's what Mike said last time. Oh, wow. Yeah, we, we already did that one. Uh, you can also check us out on Patreon. Patreon.com slash 3.2 company. Uh, you can support us from $1 up to whatever you want. We got some permanent shout outs for Caleb. I'm still not sorry for the X Pen 15 joke and Dylan Smith. Uh, we added a new uh, tier recently. It's limited, so you can get the leftovers of our quick draw alt art from the Intermountain Cup. And we, I want to go ahead and dead. say thanks to Spider FRK. And I think you want me to say Spider Freak, but I'm going to say Spider Fork for the review. And uh, it's a spider fuck. I was gonna say spider, spider frack. Frack. And you can uh, spider fucking <laughs> now. I, I thought it was ahead. spider fuck. I thought, I thought it, it was spider, spider fucker, French revolutionary, like, like that band Starfuck. <laughs> that's like got no vowels. In Whichever it. way you want it to be, spider frk. Send us an email and we'll hook you up with some <laughs> swag. Uh, if you review us on your platform of choice, uh, we'll pick a random person each week or each episode and hook you up. Word. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Uh, the Metallica. Yeah, poll. Yeah, go on our uh, Facebook page and tell us what your favorite Metallica album is. Yeah, we're just going to keep that. And I, I would like to apologize for the huge oversight on my part in not including Master of Puppets. Did you really that's, not put Master that's of Puppets? That's obviously on there? No, the really second the best, best Metallica <laughs> album, right after Ride the Light. Was it all Reload? That's that's, that's the next. Uh, we actually got reload someone to vote there. for Saint Anger. Yes. <laughs> yes. Look, Whoever just... voted for Saint Anger, you're my hero. If it's your first Metallica <laughs> album, you know. that's still wrong. Yeah. yeah, the music store guy should have punched you in the face. Like, when he tried to buy it. He like failed in his personal obli- album. His personal obligations. Like, do you want? You don't want to buy that. 
like exit music. Even if you're a huge Metallica fan, they just like <laughs> did he just log off? No, no. Okay. Uh, bing bada bong, bing bong. I mean, like maybe you took a flaw when you were doing character creation, and you can't tell people not to Cheers. buy it. Cheers, nose. Cheer nose, everybody. Uh, cheers. 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 Cheers, please. It's all in. It's in D and D terms. It makes sense. Stop. Stop.